come to the most educational, really, nice most educational video you will ever see. Okay, okay. So first, we're going to talk about pins. The difference between a pin and a needle is a pin has a ball on it, and a needle has an eye. Another one is that the pin is far more sophisticated because not only can you hold stuff together with it, but you can do it permanently and remove the needle at the same time. Whereas that, that pin, only stays in, stays in place if you leave it there. A needle, a needle on the other hand, you can sew it, yeah. Anyway, a needle goes in one of three places. <laughs> <laughs> One is in your hand like it is in mine now, in the needle card, needle card, which should be in your hand, or on the table, or in your tray, or in your pocket. Let's see, so this is how you put it in your pocket. You make a, you make a mountain, right? you stick the needle through, you pull that, kabam. <laughs> well, okay, so I forgot, it's basically the same as the needle, you put the pen either in the pin cushion, your project, or your hand. I don't mean under the skin in your hand, but you know. Okay, and how you hold it, um, how you put the pin in place is you just make your fabric into a mountain and then your pin thin. <clears throat> all right, let's work on sewing. So, first of all, to sew, you first have to get, yes, you must first thread the needle. And this is how, this is how you first Figure it out. Yeah. You start at your finger, that's all I can mention this, and then you pull it to your neck. If you're a little bit smaller, you can go to your elbow on the other hand. I will not because I'm long enough. So once there, you of course cut the thread because otherwise you cannot sew to save your life. What? <laughs> Thank you. And once you have your thread, you of course thread the needle through the eye, you go with the thread, you go through the eye. You fold it basically in half. If I can ever do that, that would be amazing. <laughs> and you then wrap it around your finger, um, and of course you pull, and there, you have it threaded. Now, you get to sew. Here is a great sewing technique. You go in through the back, I don't know if you can see, through the back, into the front, pull until your knot catches, go in through the, the same side, through the opposite side you went in in the first place, so that way it's going over the edge of the fabric. Continue this until you are ready to knot. What kind of scissors? You need to cut the thread. No. Nope. You, you pull, pull. Okay, another way is instead of just pulling your knot all the way through, you have to put it through the two threads and then you can it won't pull through. And then you do the runner stitch when you're not on the edge. Like that, and it just creates a line. So that's what we've learned for sewing life skills for hand sewing. Enjoy life skills.